last video, I mentioned that I'm going to go through these four social institutions, and that's what we're going to do. So let's just go through firms first. A firm is an economic unit that hires factors of production and organizes these factors to produce and sell goods and services. So for example, Walmart, Roots, Citigroup, they are firms that hire people, and they hire people to produce and sell their services. And that's what they do. They direct labor and they decide what to buy and sell. Now, something you don't know about firms is firms can produce and sell their own merchandise. But the reason it doesn't is because that is, it is hard to track. And when a firm gets too big, it can't track all of its info. So it is more manageable and efficient to trade. And trade takes place in markets. So markets is the next uh, social institution uh, we're going to talk about. And it is an arrangement that allows buyers and sellers to get information and do business with each other. So what markets is, it's, it's not an actual place, but a network where people trade. So for example, a network could be phones, fax, faxes, or computers. Uh, I don't think uh, anybody uses faxes anymore. It's kind of like an out-of-date technology. But yeah, that's what a market is. And markets, they evolve with trade. And yeah, you don't really need to know about that. Um, markets evolving with trade is not really that important. But what is important is that without organized markets, we will miss out on a substantial part of potential gains from trade. And an example of a country that, uh, that has missed out on a substantial part of potential gains from trade would be North Korea. They've shut themselves out and they've pretty much isolated from the entire world. That's why uh, their technology is so out of date and uh, they're pretty much uh, begging for help from China and other countries like South Korea or, or the United States. But that's another story. and. Uh, the last thing you need to know is that markets only work with property rights or when property rights exist. And that's the next thing we're going to talk about. Of course, we're going to talk about property rights. And property rights are social arrangements that govern ownership, use, and disposal of resources, goods, or services. And there are three terms under property rights that you need to know. And they are real property. Real property includes um, the land and buildings and pretty much things that we call property in or, uh, ordinary speech and durable goods such as plants and equipment. And when I say plants, I don't mean like the green plants, I mean like nuclear power plants from The Simpsons, those kind of plants. Now, financial property is pretty much, uh, if you get stocks, bonds, and money in the bank, uh, you're correct, and that's what financial property are. Intellectual property is everything that are intangible. So they're intangible products of creative effort. So they could be books, music, computer programs, and any kind of inventions protected by copyrights and patents. Now with property rights, uh, people will have incentive to specialize and produce goods in which they have comparative advantage. Because, uh, because if they didn't have property rights, then pretty much anybody can steal their idea and make money with it. But if they did, then they could sue the people who try to copy their idea and uh, they will get paid from that. And that kind of happens a lot in business and uh, that will be something that will require business law, which may be a course you are planning to study if uh, you're currently in business. But let's go through the last a social institution and the last social institution is something we all love and use and that's money and money is any com commodity or token that is generally acceptable as means of payment and it doesn't have to be paper bills it can be items so pretty much uh, it doesn't have to be the paper bill you, that you take out of your wallet it can be a gold nugget that you uh, found or bought somewhere I guess or it can be a pig or a cow and you could trade a pig or a cow. Well, anything that have value can be used as money, pretty much. And that's all you really need to know about money. But why do we use bills? Well, because bills makes uh, trading in markets more efficient. Because everybody, well, if I go to you and say, uh, 
and if I go to you and try to uh, trade, try to buy something from you with a pig, you probably don't uh, need the pig, so you value the pig at nothing. So the pig has no value to you. But uh, paper bills, that will have value to you because you can use the paper bills to buy something else. Like you could use it to buy a cow if you really needed a cow. And that's why bills make uh, trading is more efficient in the market and that's where I'll stop and in the next video we're gonna talk about circular flows through markets and uh, one more thing I really hate using notebook uh, this is not related to the video but I really hate using the notebook application for Mac because uh, well chapter 1 and chapter 2 that we did for microeconomics just crashed on me so I couldn't open uh, our notes and that means that the notes that I was planning to send to you guys are pretty much gone. They're deleted, they're, uh, they're wiped out of my hard drive and that pretty much happened when I pretty much upgraded to the next version of Notebook. So if you guys who are using Macs uh, have another program that is like Notebook but better, it doesn't have all, all those bugs and uh, bugs and beta features that are like crashing on you all the time please 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 tell me because I would like to get off of notebook and use another program that is uh, more stable and less unstable like notebook I really want to make notes that I can send to you guys and that's the reason why I want to get off notebook because it crashes too many times and yeah I couldn't send my notes to you guys so pretty much the the notes for chapter 1 and 2 will not be able well they won't be up for upload uh, at any time soon or pretty much well yeah I'm not gonna like, upload the chapter 1 and 2 notes for, microeconom for my microeconomics video at all because I don't want to go through it again so it's good if you guys actually took notes while I went through these tutorials but other than that uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time uh, thanks for watching